In order to solve this log equation, we need to combine it into a one log on the left side. However, when the bases are different, like this, we can't combine the logs. So what am I going to do? I'm going to be using this rule where it says that given log base a of y equals x, then log base a to the p power of y to the p power is still equals x, meaning there's no change as long as we put the same power to the base and also the argument. Here's an example. If we're given log base 3 of 9, of course, we know that equals 2. And if I were to square both the 3 and the 9, we still get a 2. Take this out. Log of log base 9, meaning the 3 square of 81, again, 9 square, what does it equal? It equals 2. Meaning, as long as the power on the base and the argument are the same, it doesn't change the log expression. Let's take a look at the original problem here. We have log base of 16. Well, let's leave that alone for now. We want to change that 4 into a 16. What do we have to do? I need to go ahead and square the 4 so they would become a 16. But then if I square the base, I have to go ahead and square the argument or the x as well. What about the log base of 2? I need to make the 2 to the fourth power. So they would become a 16. Then in order to keep the same log expression, I need to go ahead and do the fourth power to the x or the argument as well. If I do this, we end up with, again, log base 16 of x doesn't change. 4 squared is 16. And then we have the x squared for the argument. 2 to the 4th power is 16, and we have x to the 4th power, and it still equals 7. Now that the bases are the same for all three, we're able to combine the three log expressions into one. And the rule is we multiply the x, x squared, and x to the 4th when we have three logs added to each other. And I'm going to set that equal 7. And if I go ahead and simplify this, I have log base 16 of x to the, this is 1. We add the exponents, 1, 2, and 4, so we end up getting a 7 equals 7. And if I go ahead and change this into an exponential equation, it's going to be 16 to the 7th power. Notice, this is going to be the base that we start with, and this is always the exponent. And then what we have here called argument is going to be on the right side of the equal sign, which is x to the seventh power. Luckily, the, the problem is set up where the exponents are the same. Then we're able to see that x equals 16 as our final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video and Hopefully you learned this new rule right here where you're able to take the power of the base and the argument and keeping the value of the log the same. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button.